What's up guys, Mike from Rockville. I'm here with Rockville Sam and today we are looking at wire configurations for a single DVC 4 ohm subwoofer. Now there's one main wire configuration we're gonna focus on here and that's parallel wiring. Sam, why don't you take us away with this? So uh, DVC 4 ohm subwoofer basically means that it's dual voice coil, so that's two voice coils. Let's check the impedance or the ohms of uh, each terminal. 4.2. Let's check the other terminal. Right around the same thing. Same thing, 4.1, 4 4.2. 4 okay. Over here, and then I'll take the opposite negative, go negative into here. So you're basically going negative from one terminal to the negative on the adjacent terminal. Exactly. Now I'm going to take the positive and go into the positive terminal of, I guess, voice coil 2 and I'm gonna to to go positive into voice coil number one. So essentially you're going positive to positive and negative to negative. And I'll actually show you guys how to wire it into the enclosure box directly. Here you got a positive and negative wire that's connected inside the box to my terminals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of like split the wires, strands on both sides, mm -hmm. okay? So you can see over there. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kinda just hold them together. I'm gonna make, just use my fingers to do a nice tight twist, just like that. I'm now left with, so to speak, kinda one intertwined wire. And I'm gonna now put that into the positive one nicely. Uh, you don't wanna have too many strands sticking out because you don't wanna get the positive wire to touch the negative. So do be careful about that. There you go, it's in nice. Drop it in. They tuck it nicely, watch your fingers obviously. Okay. I'm actually gonna run my leads from uh, the terminal of the enclosure box to the amplifier. Let's measure it. What do you got there? We are right at 2.12 ohms. Yep. Correct. So your amplifier would be seeing a two ohm load if this was your wiring configuration. What kind of amp are we pairing this with? The most popular option, especially for people trying to get the most power out of their amplifier, would be a two ohm stable monoblock amplifier. Okay. So you can use any amplifier that is capable of putting out rated power for your sub at a two ohm load. This could be a one ohm or two ohm stable monoblock amplifier. Just check with the two ohm power ratings on your amp. If you use a one ohm stable amp running at two ohms, you'll notice that your amp will run a lot cooler with greater efficiency, saving your car battery. You will also hear increased sound quality because your amp is running cooler. Now, I do want to also note, it is possible to wire this type of subwoofer in a series configuration up to a final impedance of 8 ohms, but this is not very common because you will lose a lot of power from your amplifier. In fact, if you feel like you're not getting the full amount of power from your system, you might have your subwoofer wired in this type of configuration. So double check everything we did in this video to wire in parallel correctly. Alright guys, hopefully you learned something new from this video. As always, I'm Mike from Rockville. We have Rockville Sam here. We'll see you next time.